IOE 413 Healthcare Quality Study Guide. This question is about risk adjustment of hospital outcomes. Now, hospitals aren't evaluated just on the basis of the outcome of a single patient. Risk adjustment modeling is applied to a population of patients. And one way to summarize the result is in what's called the observed to expected ratio. It's the ratio of the number observed, the actual number of adverse events that occur, divided by the number of expected number that would occur in that population. And the expected number is based on it, the logistic regression risk adjustment model. Now for this question, we're going to use the risk adjustment model that was used in question five of the study guide for total knee arthroplasty cases. We're going to assume that in some period of time, a hospital treats 10 patients with total knee arthroplasty. And the predictors for these 10 patients are age, sex, length of stay, number of chronic conditions. And of course, the fifth predictor in the model is age squared. We can get that just from the age column and square it. And then the last column of readmitted is the actual observed results of these patients. What we see was that eight were not readmitted within 30 days, but two were. So our observed number is going to be two. So when we do our observed to expected ratio, the numerator will be two. And now we need to figure out what the denominator is going to be. And the way we do that is for each one of these patients, we plug in the predictors to this equation here to get the probability of readmission. We do that for all 10 patients. And this is what we get when we apply our logistic regression model to all 10 hypothetical patients to compute the probability of readmission. If we add it all up, we get 0 0.560. And our observed to expected ratio is the observed of two readmissions over 0 0.560 is equal to 3.57.